Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And I made a video yesterday for somebody and I was I misunderstood. This is the shape he wants to put the checker again. And I was thinking it was the shape of the checkering. And he said he's cut out paper. He's having trouble because he can see his uh, errors in his ways with the, cutting it out with the scissors. And you know you can cut this out with your laser. Uh, you can cut paper with your laser. Just uh, keep your fan off for a second and or to weight down the paper and, and uh, use 100 power at 100 speed and it'll zip right through paper. Uh, it's pretty cool. But my suggestion would be to take a better picture and scale the picture to object. I mean, get a measurement, you know, try to get the, the, the barrel part of the gun, the stock part of the gun level, measure it. I've got a couple of videos, and if you can't find them, I'll show you where they're at. So we're gonna take a, a rectangle and see how it it's thinner here than up there. Well, we're not gonna worry about that at first. We're gonna do what we did yesterday. We're gonna fix the front first. We're gonna convert it to a curve. We're gonna zoom in on this front. We're gonna to try to get it in the center. And we're holding down the control button. Now I can see I'm not in the center, so I'm gonna move it down a little bit. But that doesn't really matter right now, as we did yesterday. Control D and make a duplicate and mirror it. You can see how far we're off. Doesn't matter, because now we're perfect. That thing is in the center. Now I'm gonna nudge it down a little bit. I'm gonna get rid of these two objects. Now, because it's a curve, I think he's got this a little thicker on that end, or he's trying to. And if you had your picture scaled to the exact stop, 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 stock, this will work perfectly. I'm gonna use the nudge factor, 0.1. Grab that node right there and move it down 0.1 several times till it kind of gets even with the stock where this is even with the stock. And you see I put in an indexing line to get it even. Now we pretty much want this in the center so let's take another indexing line and have it snap to there. And we should know that this is the thickest part of the stock. So it is 4.2. With this lock, we're gonna change it to 4.2. Didn't really change anything, but now we know that we need to move it down 2.1. We need to take this indexing line if it's still snapped to it. And it's not because we changed the size. and move it down 2.1. That's gonna find the center of our back section. Now, we're not in the center of this, it's because we elongated that. So there's your preference of what to do. Let's take our shape tool and try to get, let's zoom in here a lot get our shape tool and mark a node right there. Now this indexing line is level, so we hold down the control button, that's gonna be level. Now I think he made one end longer on purpose. So we've still got our nudge distance set on 0.1 and you can change that, do whatever you want to with it. Now, the only difference is when you change that, it's gonna change the shape of this diamond. And it's kind of hard to tell. He wants it evenly spaced off and it's even an elongated diamond. Um, there's probably several ways to do that. And might be a little bit difficult, but we'll take the polygon tool, turn it into a four-sided polygon and stretch this till we get a diamond. And you know, maybe it's just our, our shape or our wedge uh, that makes it look funny because you could put that right in the center and it's gonna look funny. 
So that's going to be personal preference, how you're going to change that. And even though this one's elongated, maybe the angles are the same. Maybe I'll stop the video and, and figure that out. But if you took a picture and measured it and cropped it down where the gun was actually the size of the gun in the picture, because a lot of times pictures are bigger. I mean, this laser bed is 40 inches and this is probably 50 inches. That could be true. But that's how I would do that part. And then you have a well to put your, your uh, checkering in and also you've got a, a spot to test this with a red dot pointer where it is on your stock. So you could actually keep this one and put your 3D effect right on top of it and run this line to make sure you're on your stock. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.